It's such a lonely journey to go through infertility. I think the way I've often described it is a future-based grief. So often with grief, it's because you've lost something you had, whereas infertility is something, you're grieving for something you don't yet have and you don't know if you will. I just think people don't understand what it's like to have, you know, to be suffering from or have infertility or have the desire to want to have a child and not be able to do it. I don't think people really get it. I don't think people really understand how hard it is. You walk down the street and you see someone with a baby and the first thing you think of is, I wish that was me. It wears you down. It, it really does wear you down. Sort of makes you realise that not everything happens to everyone so easily. I don't know. You know, because you see some people and they can just pop kids out left, right and centre, whereas our situation's a lot different. There's things that you put on hold or you don't go travelling because you try and work it out and you think, oh, I might be pregnant then, or you, know, you, you make decisions like that that definitely impact because you anticipate that you will get pregnant. I just found the support so, um, so good. Meeting like-minded people going through a similar thing, similar experience as us, it was nice to be able to connect to them. You can't really replace a sort of kind of kind of face to face. You can't. There is something really powerful in being in a room with people and sharing energy and just that kind of connection. So I think from an infertility point of view, I got an enormous amount of information and support. Um, and you know, here we are, 20 years on, and what I now mostly got from it was a group of friends that are incredibly special because of that shared experience. And thankfully, <laughs> we did try one more time because that's what led us here. <laughs>